Now many boats will have some wooden trim on them and that trim is often held in place with screws and to cover those screws up we use what's called bungs. Now that will disguise the screw and then you won't see the fixing. Hey Mark Hawk here from Boat US Magazine. Welcome aboard. Today I'm going to show you how to replace some of the wooden bungs in a deck. But before we start, if you find this video useful, don't forget to leave a comment or a like below and also don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel. When done well, you know, bungs do a great job and they not only look professional but they obviously disguise the screws. Replacing them isn't a particularly difficult job and you might have shied away from it in the past but I'm going to show you how easy this is. You don't need a lot of tools and I've laid out on the deck here all the things that we're going to use today. I've got an electric drill and actually I've got a Phillips screwdriver bit in this one right now. Uh, a drill bit uh, of the correct size. Uh, some wooden bungs, a bung cutter if we're going to make our own bungs, screwdriver, very sharp chisel, I've got a flush cut saw and a pick and some quick set epoxy and lastly some sandpaper. Really enough depth here for me to be able to put a bung in top because the deck's worn down a little bit. So first thing I'm going to do is to remove the screw and then drill the deck a little bit deeper. I've just gone in about another eighth. I've taken the drill out here now, you can see the sawdust. And then now I'm just going to clean the hole out, put the screw back in, and then we can rebung it. So I'm using a little quick set epoxy. It doesn't matter what brand you use. So we just mix it according to the directions, and this is just a one to one mix. We'll just mix that up. I'm just doing it on a bit of an old sandpaper, but a bit of board or anything will do. Mix that up, mix that up well. So now that we've got the epoxy there, I just coat the end of this bung, a bit of the, and then I put it into the hole. And we want to make sure that the grain in the bung is in line with the grain on the deck, because if it's not, it will show up once we've cleaned it down. So I'm just going to tap that in a little bit. And now I'm going to leave that for the epoxy to set up. And once that's dry, we can come back and clean that up. Right, so I've still got a little bit of bung showing there. And I could obviously just sand that down, but it's going to take a long time, particularly if I had a lot to do. So I'm just going to go in there and use my nice sharp chisel and just shave that down until it's flushed. And you'll notice that I'm using the chisel upside down. This is an important tip, this, because if you try and do it like this, it will just dig in and you'll either pull the bung out again or you'll make a big divot in the deck. So do it carefully with nice shearing action like that. And it's important to make sure that your chisel is sharp. You want to, you know, because if it's not sharp, you'll end up just digging that out. We're almost done. Last thing. Just get a bit of sandpaper, sand that down. One of the questions that people often ask is when you've sanded this down, it's obviously a different colour. That's because we've just taken the grey off. But this is going to weather in, and so in a couple of days' time, maybe a few weeks, this is going to weather in. It'll be that nice silver grey colour. So there you have it. I hope you've learned something here today and find this tip useful. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you on the water.